Hello friends, welcome to Basic Electrical YouTube channel. So in this video, I am going to provide solution for this 10 MCQs uh, related to Basic Electrical Engineering Laboratory uh, set number 4. Okay. So watch previous uh, 3 videos, set 1, 2, 3. After that watch this video. Okay friends, let we can start. So before that, uh, if you not yet subscribed our channel, please uh, subscribe to my channel. So let me start first question. When a number of branches connected in parallel in increased in increased when a number of branches connected in parallel in increased then the effective resistance decreases increases remains same none of this. So effective resistance decreases. See uh, understanding is important. Simply copying the solution from my side is uh, going to cut in front of uh, your uh, college examiner okay so don't give chance for that you just give a clarity i know the subject very well so let me take the registers 10 ohms uh, 10 ohms and 10 ohms otherwise uh, let me take 5 ohms so 5 ohm next resistor is increased next to resistor also increased uh, okay i given uh, same identical resistance like this you can take any number of resistance uh, 2 3 4 like that keep in, keep on increasing okay let me take this is 20 ohm resistance okay see the net effective resistance whatever you got uh, the net effective resistance in a parallel circuit is less than individual resistance see or less than the smallest resistance would in this four resistors combination which is having less resistor 5 ohm is lesser you will get effective resistance less than this that's why it is called a, a decreases if you keep on increasing number of resistance in parallel the effective resistance will decreases let me take some one example okay let me take example uh, 6 ohm and uh, 3 ohm what is effective resistance for this two resistance in parallel numerator multiplied denominator added two resistance in uh, when two resistances are in parallel, 6, 3, joy, 18, 6 plus 3, 9, 18 by 2 is how much? Okay, 18 by 9 is 2 ohms. Effective resistance of this is how much? 2 ohms. As I said earlier, your effective resistance will be lesser than individual value. In that, in that combination, which is having less resistance, 3 ohm, your effective will be lesser than that uh, smallest resistance in that parallel branch, parallel branches. That is the speciality of uh, parallel circuit. Now let me take, uh, let me take 2 ohm resistance, uh, 2 ohm resistance, I, again I added one more resistance in that branch, uh, your effective resistance, you should, you should get less than, less than 2 ohms only, okay, see, 6 parallel 3, what is the answer, 2 ohms, now 2 ohm and 2 ohm are connected in parallel, 2 ohm and 2 ohm, what is the effective resistance, 2 into 2 divided by 2 plus 2, 4 by 4. 4 by 4 is what? 1 ohm. See, if you start increasing the resistors, your effective resistance is what? Decreases. Okay, got it? You should explain in front of examiner. Okay, like this. Then they will understood. Okay, the student knows well about the subject. Next, in which of the following elements the power is dissipated? Okay, in inductor, no. Inductor is not power consuming device. It is an energy storing element. Power in inductor is zero. Capacitor? No. Capacitor is also energy storing element. Power in capacitor also zero. Which of the following element the power is dissipated? Resistor. Okay. In only in resistor, power is going to be uh, dissipated. Not all of this. Okay. Inductor capacitor never consumes power. Got it? So resistor is the correct option. Next, the apparent power in a three phase system. See apparent power. Already this question repeated in set 3. So apparent power is uh, root 3 uh, VL in uh, EL into IL. Okay, got it. Next, the core losses in the transformer is called a constant loss. Okay, this is 100%. This statement is correct. Because why, why they are asking? Because core is laminated. Core is made up of ferromagnetic material. Flux in the core is constant. Core is laminated, flux in the core is constant, core is made up of ferromagnetic material. 
okay what you can uh, decide see now eddy current loss okay what is the equation for eddy current loss uh, eddy current loss that is uh, pe is equal to ke f square t square into v see eddy current loss proportional to frequency okay got it in this equation uh, eddy current loss is not proportional to flux then what about hysteresis loss hysteresis loss formula is k h uh bm to the power of 1.67 f into v okay this is hysteresis loss equation so flux is uh, not a recommended option uh, you can decide the core losses at transformer is constant loss because the core is made up of ferromagnetic material okay this is a correct option core is laminated okay obviously to reduce the losses core is laminated okay white is constant core is made up of ferromagnetic material and however in a transformer frequency is constant okay frequency is constant and flux in the flux is also constant in transformer but flux in the core they given flux in the core is constant this is not correct because a d current loss a d current loss is see a d current loss is proportional to frequency square See if the supply frequency varies, losses varies square of the frequency. So favorable option is core loss is made up of ferromagnetic material. Next, the severity and keep in mind in transformer what is constant? Flux is constant, frequency is constant. Regarding losses depends on the material. The severity of electric shock depends upon pathway. Okay, through the body. Okay, magnitude of the current. definitely magnetic current shock depends condition of the skin okay if the person is having dry skin or wet skin based on that the severity of shock will depends and also whether the person is standing or uh, sitting or sleeping okay uh, different uh, path will be produced so all of this is the correct option for a given frame size of dc generator the emf generated is proportional to speed and flux repeated question a dc dash motor is nearly a constant speed motor shunt motor salient pole rotor is suitable for salient see salient repeated question low speed alternator the speed of rotating magnetic field developed by the stator winding of an induction motor is given by 120 f by p okay the speed of rotating magnetic field is called synchronous speed its formula is 120 f by p okay 120 f by p two part tariff is charged on what basis okay last option okay because it is repeated from uh, set 3 so i completed uh, set 4 option totally there are six set so in next video i am going to provide solutions for set number 5 okay so thank you so much for watching the video okay so please give like share this video and comment if it is useful please comment it Okay meet you on next video set number 5